Welcome to Almost Here, Round the Corner of Future Technology podcast with Richard Jacobs. Future technologies poised to transform our lives for better or worse are the focus of this podcast. Almost Here means these technologies are now here and starting to be used or just around the corner from Bitcoin to artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more. Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with the Future Tech Podcast. My guest is uh, Lisa Hoffmeister, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Cutera, C-U-T-E-R-A. The website is uh, cutera.com. So, Lisa, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Good, good. What's Cutera about? The name sounds a little bit unusual, like a cuticle, I guess, but uh, you know, what is, uh, what's the goal of the company of Cutera? Cutera is a leading provider in laser light and other energy-based aesthetic systems for practitioners worldwide. So we create aesthetic devices for dermatologists, plastic surgeons, med, med spas, and other okay. types of, of physicians that are into the aesthetics market. Yeah, well, I'm... Uh... You know, in my 40s and a guy, and luckily my skin isn't sagging off or anything, so I haven't I haven't tried any of these procedures. But what are some of the uh, procedures that you make the machines for? We do a whole host of different aesthetic procedures, from uh, body fat reduction to skin tightening, um, laser hair removal, pigment, sun damage, wrinkles. Uh, you name it, a little bit of everything that you can do with lasers and light to non-surgically and non-invasively. Well, some of them are, are minimally invasive procedures mm-hmm. to improve your appearance and reverse the signs of aging. Do you do any uh, tattoo removal? Is that included? We, we do. That is also one of our big uh, selling products as well. Oh, interesting. Okay. I didn't know lasers could do so many things to the body. It's amazing. What, um, what happens, I don't know if you can answer the technological part of it, but what happens when a laser interacts with the skin in some of the applications, you know, what does it do and how does it function? Maybe just a couple examples. Sure. Laser sees colors. So whatever is your target. So let's say, for example, a freckle, it's colored, it's brown. So you would use a light source that um, targets specifically the color of what you're, you're going after. And then you would also look at, well, what is, how is that laser designed from a depth of penetration? So a freckle is very superficial compared to a tattoo where the ink is delivered much deeper. So we have different types of lasers and different technologies um, and different wavelengths that will pinpoint specifically and safely different colors and different depths in the skin to eliminate them or decrease them, uh, again, to improve the appearance. So how does a laser um, get rid of pigment from a tattoo or a freckle? What does it do? So it is more or less blasting um, melanin. So the the laser would go after like the brown spot. Um, It would uh, be absorbed. So the um, the laser would, or the melanin would absorb the the heat and the the light. And then um, it would break up um, and your body would basically um, uh, metabolize the uh, the pigment. Okay, so it would break it apart, you know, break it into component parts, and your body would reabsorb it and use it for other purposes. I'm not sure about the other purposes, but <laughs> oh. <laughs> it would just so. basically you have macrophages in your in your skin that would kind of eat up those particles, and um, okay. and then it's it's just kind of eliminated. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know what purposes they would be, but yeah, <laughs> that's a generic way to describe it. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. What about um? You said fat removal. I mean, how else would, do lasers work? So it's one way we described. What are some other ways? So with with fat, it's a really an interesting industry segment, and that's um, really what what I focus on on a daily basis. Uh, there are different ways to eliminate fat in the body. There are kind of an old fashioned way of injecting chemicals, um, or kind of a gold standard way, which is to do liposuction and and go in and and literally remove the fat. But so many um, consumers have been looking for alternatives where it is non-invasive um, and non, uh, non-surgical options to reduce fat. And at Cutera, what we've developed is a non-invasive monopolar radio frequency device that would heat the entire fat layer from skin to muscle and um, from that, be able to literally destroy the fat um, in a slow process that takes over a 12-week um, timeline instead of a quick, 
you know, liposuction with a lot of downtime, this is a, a slow process to kill the cells through heat, and then those cells are eliminated through the body, and you are then um, have a, uh, you know, fat pockets are reduced by approximately 24%. Do you, um, do you have to open up the skin to do it, or do you raster over the surface of the skin in an area where there's fat and it, it penetrates? So that's the beauty of this. It is non-invasive. So you don't have to cut into the skin. Um, the heat is applied on the surface of the skin, and it's applied in such a way our technology is very unique. And the temperature is monitored on the surface of the skin. So although it's delivering heat, the heat isn't sitting on the surface like many other um, technologies in our space. The heat is actually delivered all the way down to the muscle. So it's being pulled down with the connectivity of the, the monopolar radio frequency so that the heat is actually much, much hotter um, in, the, in the fat itself versus resting on the surface of the skin. So it's very comfortable to the patient and very effective. Huh. And do you go over a wide area and you know, over a series of 12 weeks and you know, what does the patient experience each week? What do they see and what does it look like? So it could be different from each person and that's what's so unique and so exciting about what Qterra has developed for our solution. It's personalized. So what everybody needs is different. One size does not fit all for us, and, and we don't want to find one solution that everybody has to figure out how to make that work for their patients. We want our physicians to analyze each of their patients' bodies and figure out, okay, what do we need to do to get the best result? And um, if you look at the average body, there are areas where there's lumps and bumps, let's call them, where, or bulges, where there's more fat or pockets of fat in specific locations. And if you took a, a, a body and you slowly decreased their entire, um, let's say the entire abdomen, and you looked at it before and you looked at it after, if everything was uniformly decreased, you wouldn't really see a big difference. But if you just went after select pockets of fat, um, you really see a huge improvement, and this is where it can be really life-changing for somebody's um, just sense of, of um, confidence. Um, mm. if, if, uh, if you ask somebody, where's your trouble spot, everybody can point to it. So you just find that fat pocket or bulge in the, in the skin, and that's where we would apply our heat, and that's what the target. So it might be a small area for one person and a larger area for another. Mm, okay, gotcha. And, um... Depending on the um, the shape of the skin and how it is, you know, let's say you have a, a gut that hangs down, um, how would you target it so that when the fat dissipates, the skin doesn't hang loose? You know, is there a way to do it strategically where the body will absorb it slowly over time and keep its shape? Or, uh, you know, I've seen, you know, like the biggest loser, that kind of stuff, where people lose weight really quickly and then they have hanging skin. Is that something that you can avoid if you do it right? So it just depends on the on the amount. So uh, we would really set uh, train our physicians on how to set great expectations with their patients. So this is certainly not a, um, a alternative to surgery in a situation where somebody has loose loose skin. Um, we're really targeting fat. So we're going after the fat and reducing the fat. Uh, we do get some um, improvements overall in on fat house, but so we get improvements uh, with fat, but it, it really is is geared towards. Um, you, uh, it makes me curious. Is I don't, I know this is kind of way out of left field, but uh, could this treatment be used to treat cancers, or is it uh, you don't know, you haven't looked into it, or is it possible? Just the thought occurred. No, so this is, is specifically designed for fat pocket reduction, and all of our clinical studies have been specific to um, to fat, and we um, we we are not targeting any other conditions. Okay, I just didn't know if in the literature if there's anything like that, but you know, you may or may not know, so that's fine. All right. Um, no. So, if you compare this to liposuction, you know, what are the differences? This takes longer, obviously, but it's not invasive. You're not cutting into the skin. What other comparisons can you make? It really depends on what uh, what the patient is looking to achieve. So if somebody has in their mind they want to go from a size 10 to a size 4 or 6, um, it's not going to happen with one treatment with our product. We're really looking at pockets of fat and reducing the pockets of fat, and liposuction is still a great solution for making very large dramatic changes in a very quick period of time. 
with our mm. procedure, you can do multiple treatments to continue to have a 24% average fat reduction with each and every treatment. Um, but it, it's not uh, it's not designed to completely alter the shape of the body in one treatment. Right. It takes time. Okay. That makes sense. And you said uh, an average protocol is what, 12 weeks? I know it's different for everybody, but is it approximately 12 weeks or, or how long would it be? Correct. Approximately 12 weeks for your body to uh, remove the, the fat that's been um, uh, affected from the treatment. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, what other uses? We talked about, you know, freckle removal, tattoo removal, fat reduction, uh, any other major uses of your equipment? So each one, each one of those applications is typically on a different dedicated device, and some of the devices do multiple applications. With the TrueSculpt ID, um, it is a great workstation for body treatments, um, but primarily focused on fat reduction. Okay. What are you seeing there? Is what is the demand out in the marketplace? You know, for your machines, is it what you thought? Are there new areas that are uh, becoming hot that people are really interested in? Uh, non-invasive fat reduction is currently the number one non-invasive, non-surgical uh, procedure in the aesthetic industry. So this really is a key area, and it's been an exciting one for so many of our customers to be able to offer to their patients uh, because of this growing need. Uh, we'll, we at Cutera we're continuing to explore additional um, ways that we can continue to be innovative in body uh, body fat reduction and in overall the non-invasive segment of, of the aesthetic industry. So how long has this technology been out there? How long has it been in use? The TrueSculpt ID we just launched in July in North America, and we've been launching each month into a different uh, country or continent around the world. Oh, wow. Okay. In the U.S., you know, in North, well, not just North America, but in the U.S. where I'm at, um, how pervasive is, like, how many uh, clinics uh, make it available? Is it widespread yet, or you have to really seek it out still? In just a couple of months since we've launched, we have uh, well over 100 machines now across North America. Okay, great. So, um, it's very exciting. What's What's next for the next uh, six months or a year? Where are you going to be? You're going to be scaling up, obviously, getting more machines out there, but what else new is coming that you can talk about? So we're always focused on kind of a, a past, present, and, and future um, mentality of how do we continue to help our current customers who have purchased in the past and ensure their success, and how do we look at our current customers that are purchasing today, as well as what do we need to continue to develop uh, to, to pave the way for the future for more innovative uh, solutions for aesthetic applications. So we really spend our time looking at those different avenues and ensuring that, um, again, our customers are very happy, they're successful, the, the products are, are working, and we're improving the lives of our patients. Yeah, anything in particular big and breakthrough that's coming? Or, uh, you know, I don't know if you can disclose anything or things that are on the horizon that would be nice to have that you're working on? We're uh, trying to think. Um, we have many innovative Technologies that are currently being uh, being uh, worked on and are, and are undergoing pilot studies, but nothing that I can discuss today. Okay, no problem. And I guess everything uh, everything that you do is uh, I guess I don't know how it's classified what the words are, but it's a medical treatment. So does everything you do involve clinical trials? Absolutely. Uh, we go through okay. a very extensive clinical trial process, and we um, have all of our products are. Uh, submitted through the FDA for clearance before we can market them, or in other countries, mm -hmm. each each country has their own their own process for how they evaluate and clear a product for safety before we introduce it into the market. So, on average, all these technologies have been worked on for years before people ever use them in a clinic setting. In in many cases, yes. Um, and what we do specifically at at Qterra is always make sure that we're not just creating a copycat product and and doing what the competition is doing. But when you're in a think tank trying to come up with something that's completely new and different and and really filling the needs of of the industry and not just a me too product, it does take time. And then we want to pilot that product and make sure that it it is addressing the needs of our customers and that it would be accepted. It's very easy to come out with a quick product if you're just um, copying other items um, that are in the marketplace already and that are successful. But if you want to take it to the next level, it, it does take time. 
All right. So for people listening that want to get, you know, want to check out the, the latest fat reduction treatment, what should they ask for when they're talking to uh, their doctor? The beauty is really they can just talk about what areas of their body uh, present challenges or um, or that they would like to improve. And because TrueSculpt ID is so customized, um, the, our physicians can personalize a treatment protocol that will address their individual needs. So they just can, can point and squish and push and whatever on the areas that they want to improve, and our physicians are very well trained to take it from there. Okay, and they're, they're asking whether the physician uses what's it's called what, True Sculpt ID? Correct, True Sculpt ID. And we have, okay, a, nice we have a website, truesculpt.com, and on that site, there's a physician finder um, tab where they can find a provider in their area. Oh, great. Is it T-R-U-E, or is it abbreviated to T-R-U? How's it spelled? T-R-U-S-C-U-L-P-T dot com. Okay, very good. Um, any other ways for people to uh, to get in touch or collaborate or find out more? That'll be the easiest way, and there's a, a lot of great information about the procedure, about what happens on the day of the procedure, how comfortable it is. There's no downtime, um, just all the great benefits that that they'll be able to experience when they go in for a true sculpt treatment. So I highly recommend taking a look at the site. And um, and I think any consumer that reads through that will see what a game changer this product is and how different it is from our com- competitors that are on the marketplace currently. All right. That's great. Well, Lisa, I, I appreciate you coming on the podcast. Thanks for uh, all your knowledge. Thank you so much for having me. You have been listening to Almost Here, Around the Corner Future Technology Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Subscribe to this podcast, post a review, to discover more future technologies that are poised to transform our lives for better or worse, such as Bitcoin, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, virtual reality, and more.